Oi. Oh, welcome back to the Cabbage Patch. I'm Dad. And I'm Tommy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and what did we play today? We played... Jaws. 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 Jaws is a Ravensburger game. Uh, that is for up to four players. Although I suppose you could probably do it with teams and get a couple more people on the board. Two to four players, ages 12 and up, interestingly enough. It's a hidden movement game based on the on the movie from the 70s, which you guys haven't seen, which is kind of scary. It tends to scar people for life. They never want to go into the ocean again because they're a shark. That so I'm not going to see it. Maybe not. Maybe when you're a little older. Um, so in the game, the game takes place in two acts. The first act, and I can turn this over here. The first act, you're on Amity Island. I'll go ahead and push this over here. The first act, you're on the island. And the shark is hiding around the island and eating swimmers. So swimmers randomly appear on the beaches, even if you tell them not to, right? <laughs> they randomly appear on the beaches. And the shark is moving around the island, and he gets three actions per turn. Tommy was the shark this time. And he can either move or he can eat a swimmer. Uh, and he's got some special tokens that let him do more. He can eat more swimmers or move farther or not trip motion sensors and whatnot. And then the rest of us, uh, in this case just me and Gus, were the rest of the main characters from the movie Jaws. Quint, Hoopa, and Brody. Brody was the chief of police. Quint was the shark hunter. Hooper was the shark scientist. And Hooper and, Qu and Quint have boats, and their boats can move around a little faster in the ocean. Brody's stuck to the island, and the you're trying to save swimmers from me from the shark before the shark gets to eat nine swimmers, right? If the shark eats nine swimmers, that triggers the next phase. If we are clever enough to use Quint's ability to launch these barrels, um, and we hit the shark twice, that also triggers the second act of the game. So... Saving swimmers, even though they're not supposed to be in the water, and they know they're not supposed to be in the water, and they keep going into the water, right? Right, Gus? Mm -hmm. And then, then you turn the board over. To the orca. To the orca side, which is uh, Quint's boat. I kind of want to see the ship that's all but up close. That's all and they're, they've attached barrels to the shark, or they've gone out into the ocean to find the shark, and they're trying to kill the shark. So the boat gets set up. The boat gets set up with these tiles, like this, and then you move into Act Two. Where did the other tile go? It's very, very, very hard to keep the ship intact. It is very hard to keep the ship. Where did the other tile go? Uh, right there. Yeah. Right. So, and then you switch from instead of moving around the island and saving swimmers to moving around the boat and trying to kill the shark. Where's the other meeple? There it is. Right. And each of your cards has two sides. One side is for Act 1 and one side is for Act 2. And they sort of give you a hint. Of and in the second act, you're on the orca. And the three heroes are trying to kill the shark. And the shark is trying to eat the heroes and or completely destroy the boat. So the way that works... So in the first in the first act, the player, the shark player, is just writing down secretly where he's moving. In this act, we get some idea where the shark might show up on any given round by drawing three of these cards, putting them here in A, B, and C, A, B, and C, right? Then you put these little tokens on the board. A is this. B is this. And C is also that. And C is also that, as it turns out, right? And then that gives the players some idea where the shark's going to be. And then the players can move around the boat up to two spaces and then use their collected gear. So they start off with a minimum amount of gear. Each character gets two gear cards. Clint gets a machete and uh, I think a, the uh, tank, um, the scuba tank. Hooper gets uh, a hammer and a rifle. Brody gets a pistol and a baseball bat. And you've got to deal how many points of damage to the shark? Uh, 18. 18. 
have to deal 18 points of damage to the shark. Each of the characters only has six hit points. And it's a race to kill the shark before he eats everybody or, kill, or destroys the boat entirely. And it's hidden movement, and it's very tense, and it's very exciting. And you only have a little bit of, you know, you know if you have a pistol, you can only use it once unless you have ammunition, which means that you can use it a second time, and it's just very exciting. Um, and uh, we won. The good guys won. Gus and I beat the shark barely. Yeah. I, I think we... I destroyed, like... I think that the boat only had, like... Like three pieces left that didn't that weren't sinking, and we didn't have any ammunition left. No, it, I think it had like. I think that was how much was left. Might be that. Uh, might be that. Doesn't matter. There was very little of the boat left, um, Ho and we won at the very was, last second. Hooper was dead. Um, and yeah, Hooper. Hooper got. <laughs> Hooper got. Uh, got drowned and eaten by the shark. Um, and that was it. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoy this game. This is the third time I've played this game, maybe the fourth. It's the first time with you guys. So what did you think? What was what was good about this game? Did you like this game? Yeah. yeah. All right. What was good about it? I liked everything. Being the, yeah, everything. No, no, no. Talk about specific things. Well, the sh well I like being the shark and g and sneaking up on you guys. So the element up, of surprise. The element of surprise, both on the island and on the boat. Yeah. I like how you sometimes how I tricked you a couple of times, yeah. and you thought I was one place, and when when in reality I just popped up over here and ate all the swimmers. Ate all the swimmers. How about you, Gus? What was your favorite part? Everything. No, no, no. Talk about something specific. <laughs> I don't know the whole good. Act part. one. The act one. You were the you were the you were Brody. You were running around the island trying to deliver tanks. I liked that part less. Okay, you like that part less. I so, liked the island. I liked the boat. The boat more. part was boat pretty boat cool. Was my favorite. All right, you kept shooting at things. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, one, I like, you've not seen the movie. I liked how sort of it made me feel like the movie. Like it's very tense, right? So for the first part of the movie, people are getting killed. And they keep going swimming. And the only people that know anything are Brody and Hooper. And then they finally get Quint. And then they decide, okay, we're going to go hunt this shark down. And then they get on the boat, and in the movie, if you d haven't seen it, which they haven't... Basically, that happens. Basically, that happens. Except I the think... The boat sinks, Except but at the very last second... Kaboom. The shark gets gets taken out, because somebody's clever. I won't spoil the complete ending, but, you know, it's a... Uh, you know, the good guys win. So it's a really cool game, and it's very tense, and, and it's I, a lot of fun. And I think Hooper lives... Hooper does live. But, but it looks like he dies. No. And that's also spoilers. So, you know, now we've spoiled the movie. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. So, Hooper uh, died in our game. Yeah. Leaving just Quint, uh, Quint and uh, and Brody. I won't tell you about the fate of the other characters because I don't want to spoil it too much. Hooper does live. But it looks like he dies. So, let's just make it so that the shark almost got him. Okay. We'll make it so he almost got him. But anyway, so he was out of the game in our game. Um and that's it. It's a pretty straightforward game. It's relatively easy. There's a little bit of nuance. It takes about an hour to play because there's two acts. It's almost two games in one. Yeah. And I liked it a lot. Anything to add? How about you? Anything to add? Ready to give it a score? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. How many cabbages, Gus? Three. 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 I'll give it a three. Nine cabbages in total. Yeah. So it's a movie game got nine cabbages. There's enough here for us to keep playing again. I think we'll play it three or four times more. Uh, maybe with our group. That'll be fun. And uh, and that's it. Anything to add before we close out? No. Nope. All right. Outro? Subscribe, like, and the bell, Tommy. Leave a comment if you wish. You can eat cabbages, not us, though. Because sharks can't eat cabbage, cabbages. And you are a, t are a very not good shark. There we go. <laughs> oh, All right. I don't have anything else I did, but that would let you probably get scolded for life. All right. <laughs> like, we'll see you next time. Bye.